Hello Exile and welcome back to Before You Buy. Today we'll be breaking down the new Ultimatum Supporter Packs, and if I miss something that you want to see, head on over to my Discord and we'll get you sorted out. On to the review. So the set theming this league is pretty straightforward. Sun versus Moon. But the choices that were made to represent these themes are what make these sets interesting. To start with, Crescent is surprisingly reserved with the lunar theme being represented in motif only. Its complete lack of visual effects is honestly really refreshing in an area of Path of Exile and almost every set has some sort of tact on light source. More on that later. And while the alternate helm is large and unusual, the base set more than makes up for it in quality and versatility. And then there's Sun, a Dark Souls-esque knight that just screams, praise the, you know, Sun. And here's where I make my point about tact on VFX. The base armor? It's amazing. The embedded lights that contour the main set? They're tasteful. The floating orange carrots that follow you around? Yeah, this is where I feel the need to distinguish between visual flair and unnecessary embellishments that are added for whatever reason. However, despite the odd choice of levitating vegetable lights, I still like the set. So for combos, I tried to lean into the strongest parts of each set. So for sun, that means lots of orange, fire, holy, you name it. Some good combos include using the Sunrise set from last week's Twilight Box, the always amazing Sun and Innocence wings along with Huck's helmet from Heist, uh, Temple in various configurations. This first setup uses the fledgling unique helm, and this latter setup makes use of the Divine Arcane wings. Both of these are pretty good. Pandemonium also looks incredible here. But because of Sun's innate bright visual effects, most combos have to kind of fall in line with that theme, they have to make use of it in some way. But when it comes to Crescent, there are no rules. You could use the same Pandemonium combo if you wanted. You could completely switch it up and go Misery with all the, all the swords in the universe. Any variant of Ghost Flame looks great with the silver, and Despair as well also looks just fine. This kind of versatility is what makes Crescent my favorite of the two armors. However, if you're not looking for any kind of like complex combo, and you just want some winged suggestions, both Gorgon and Griffin that were released late last league, they look great here. They look absolutely amazing. Now let's talk weapons. And in my opinion, the weapons are probably the most attractive part of these new sets. And the reason for that is that these are premium weapons. Similar to supporter pack weapon effects, premium weapons can be applied to both slots at the same time, meaning you only need to have one copy. This is in contrast to literally every other weapon in the store. If you want to dual wield with a weapon from just the store, you have to have two copies, whereas with these, you only need the one. It works with both slots. Previously, the only other weapon ever released that was like this was Malice, but Malice has since gone legacy. And Malice also only had two forms, an axe and a sword. Both of these new weapons, however, have unique forms for almost every single weapon class, including claws, which we really don't get too many claw MTX, and that to me makes these ones far more impressive than Malice ever was. Now the last thing up for consideration is the portal and the aura. Now straight up, I do not like this aura. It's completely static, has no physics, and I very much like my auras to be dynamic. It is however quite bright, so if you're putting together something like an aura build with the end goal of blinding everyone you meet, go for it. Crescent's portal, very solid though. I'd, I'd say this is a pretty pretty solid portal. I, I like this portal. Something else to consider too about these packs is due to the amount of included contents, these are the highest value supporter packs currently in the store. Probably the highest value ones we've ever gotten, actually. Um, again, the only other, the only other pack that has ever gotten close is Malice, and even then, the weapons included here blow Malice out of the water, like I said. And just a quick breakdown of Crescent at store prices, if you were to get this from like in the item store, an armor is 420 points, an alt helm is 132 copies of a 7 form weapon like Void, ends up being like 400 points for the both of them, a portal is 150, plus you also get 550 points with the pack itself. This gives the set a theoretical store value of over 1600 points, and that's if we're using like the arbitrary values assigned by GGG. Whether or not you think it's worth that is up to you, but the point I'm trying to make is that you'd be hard pressed to find a better deal from the store. Back when Insatiable Malice was still in the store, that was the set that I recommended to people, like to new players, to people who wanted like a good supporter pack to add to their collection. I was like, yo, you get a whole bunch of things with it, the weapon's cool, like it's great. And uh, 
I feel like these are a good successor to Malice, especially since the supporter packs last league were like a little dry on content, like they didn't have a weapon, they didn't have a weapon effect, they were basically just the armors and the one extra included piece. Um, I'm really excited that we have a couple of new sets that are going to be in the store for, you know, the next six months that are, that are high value. But, but yeah, that's it for my review. I like the sets. See you guys.